All right, so just like Colby said in the last video, he's already got the total station and the tripod set up. And on the screen, before we cut out last time, it showed uh, that the channel was two and the network ID was one. That's going to be very crucial to when we go to this the site works to actually set up the total station. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in on the data collector and we're going to click Trimble Site Works. We're going to let it open up. And we're going to go to the actual project that you're working on. The current project that we're on right now is the demo site. So we're just going to go to project and demo. And you'll see that in just a second. So you got your demo and your work order. Make sure you load your work order. If you have a design there, you can load your work your design as well. We're going to accept. And what it's going to do is once it accepts it, it's going to ask us to connect to a total station. That's what we're prompted to. If you, if for some reason you are not prompted to that, you're just going to exit out of that screen. And it's going to bring you to this is your main screen. This is where you're going to have your line work. This is where you're going to have your control points and everything on here. What you do is you'll go to the actual menu button at the top left of the screen, the three little bars. You go to Project Setup, and you want to connect a device. The device you're going to want to connect is the total station, which brings you right back to the same screen that you were just on. The brand is Trimble. The model is the SPS series, and the connection type is, you could do Bluetooth, cable, or radio. If you have a radio that's in the back of your data collector like we do, we're going to use radio. If you want to use Bluetooth, you can use Bluetooth, but you're limited on your range. Your range is about 20 feet away from the total station. Or a cable, your cable is you're only limited to the length of your cable. But what we like to use is a radio, so that way you can travel as far away as you need to to, to do whatever you need to do. So like I said... Your radio channel is 2, and your network ID is 1. You're going to accept that, and it's going to start doing it connecting. The next screen that it brings you to is going to be your level screen, which is what Colby did in the last video, or the earlier in this video, where it shows it'll show you an actual level bubble on this screen. And you can see your sighting and your trunnion are two seconds which is perfectly acceptable for what we're doing so we're gonna go ahead and accept that if it wasn't acceptable what you do is you just go ahead and fine-tune it just like Colby showed you earlier by using your your uh, leveling knobs we're gonna accept now it's asking you for the pressure and the temperature and these total stations have this information built into them where they can actually sense the pressure and sense the, the from the, the total station so go ahead and just press read pressure from instrument and your temperature you want to try to get within about 10 degrees of where it actually is outside so right now 70 degrees is about where we're at 70 to 75 so I'm just gonna go with 70 degrees and show computations I'm sorry show corrections on setup we're just gonna leave that on and we're gonna accept that and since we don't have any control points in this project, it's asking us to create a control point. So we're just going to go ahead and accept that for now. And then no target. it's ready to go. The total station set up and the total station is talking to the tablet or to the data collector. And our next step is going to be actually going to the field and shooting points to establish the location of where the total station actually is on the job site. So we can start shooting our topo or staking out lines or points or whatever we're doing so we thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below we'll be sure to check them and answer everything uh, and hope you look forward to our next video thanks